Before we get into the automation of other types of applications, I would like to cover some of the essential tools in Blue Prism that are required during development and debugging. Go ahead and open the Excel process which we created in the video 16. If you look at the toolbar above, right from this run button or it's called the go button until this button which is the wide zoom pan tool, this is called the debug toolbox. As the name suggests, all the tools within this toolbox is primarily used when debugging the code. We have already used the go and the reset buttons. When you click the go button, the process will run from start to end. You can change the running speed by adjusting the slider. By default, the speed is set to normal, but you can either increase or decrease the speed. If you want to pause the process while it is running, you can press the pause button. While debugging code, you may want to see each and every stage at your own pace. If you click the go button, the process is going to continuously run and you will have to click pause at every stage you want to check. Instead of doing that, you can use this button which is called the step and this will allow you to run the process one stage at a time. Let me show you what it means. I'll click reset and instead of clicking go, if I click the step button, the process moved from start stage to create instance which means it executed the start stage and it is waiting at the create instance stage. It will not execute this stage until you click the step button again. Now if I click the step button, it is not going to move to the open workbook immediately. Instead, it will go into the MS Excel VBO and it will step through every stage in the create instance page of MS Excel VBO. So I'll click the step button. It opened the MS Excel VBO in the object studio. If I click the step again, it will go to the create instance code stage. And if I click again, it will go to the next stage. Since this set events enabled is a reference to another page, if I click the step button again, it's going to go into that page. Here you go, it went into the set events enabled page. So from here, if I keep clicking the step button, it executes every single stage and we have one more stage called check instance handle, which again refers to another page. So it'll go into that page and completes every single stage in this page and then comes back to the previous page executes enable events code stage ends this page and goes back to the parent page which is create instance page and then goes back into the process main page so stepping through the process will actually show you all the layers it traverses through during the process run here is a diagrammatic representation of what we just saw. We have the main page of the process on the top in blue and we have the Excel VBO in the bottom with the different action pages. The process will first move from start to create instance action stage and from there it goes to the create instance action page on MS Excel VBO. Then to set events enabled action page and from there it goes to check instance handle and after it completes all the stages there, it goes to the end stage and it automatically goes to the set events enabled action page because it originally came from there and then it goes back to the create instance action page. Finally, after it completes all the stages here, it returns back to the main page where it started. Now, if you don't want to see all these actions and pages underneath it, you can use this button which is step over. So if I click reset and click step over, it comes from start to create instance page. Now if I click step over again, it executes the create instance stage without showing us what happened in the background. So step over basically executes that stage but doesn't show what happened in the background. The same rule applies when executing a page. So if I click reset and keep clicking the step button until we get to the set events enable stage in the create instance page and then if I click the step over button it will not show what happened inside the set events enable page but it will execute everything it is supposed to do. Finally this button is called the step out button and when you click this button while you are stepping through the process it will complete the rest of the steps without displaying any progress. So I'll reset then keep clicking step until we get to this create instance action page and then if I click step out 
you can see that it did not show any further steps of the create instance action page but it completed all the steps now if I again click step out here it will directly go to the end it doesn't mean that it skipped the rest of the stages rather it simply executed all the stages at its maximum speed without showing the progress like it shows when you uh, click the go button so the objective is to use these three buttons according to your requirement while you debug the code now let's say you want to run the process using the go button and when it reaches the particular stage you want the process to be paused at that stage you can use a breakpoint to achieve this for example let's say when I run this process if I want it to pause at this stage I'll right click on it and select breakpoint this will set a breakpoint at this stage and you can see a right highlight around the stage so now if I click reset and click go we get this pop-up which says breakpoint reached and you can see that the process has paused at this stage you can either continue running the process by clicking the go button or you can start stepping from this stage using the step button you can set multiple breakpoints in a process and this will be very helpful during debugging you can remove the breakpoint by right clicking on it and unchecking the breakpoint next if you want to start the process at a particular stage instead of the start stage you can right click on the stage and select this option called set next stage and you can see that the stage is immediately highlighted in orange which means this will be the next stage to be executed so I hope now you have a good understanding of the essential debugging tools and we are ready to create more complex processes.